guys from this impala down at Gauri. Back to these elephants. Sorry, lost us there for a minute. Still a little bit of a ways off. We're about 50 meters, 60 meters away from them. But like I said, we might have a little bit of interesting behavior from them somewhere in the next 10 minutes or so, 5 minutes, even if they keep moving. Because they're going to walk right past where that buffalo kill was. All that lion scent and hyena scent and all the sort of carcass smell will intrigue them. Just going to move a little bit forward. Elephant have also been a bit scarce the last while, so really exciting to find some bulls again. They don't seem to be too worried about us, not really too aware of us either, just doing their thing, enjoying all the fresh food that's around. So we're just going to slowly spend some time with them, probably even make our way quite close to them later on if they stay this relaxed. Like a lot of the other animals as well, they look very clean all the rain that's been coming down on them, their skins look nice and clean tusks look a little bit whiter also, they wouldn't have been eating as much bark the last week or so they'd be focusing a lot more on the greenery that's around new leaves, new fresh grass so using their tusks less than they would have up until before the rains Stations 3 and Glorf, uh, closer than Nari Bamba to the western side of Zoe's Road. Let's just move a little bit. jump out of the car quickly while you enjoy these elephants from this just the antenna and I'm gonna stick with these ellies for a bit longer. I just heard a bit of distant rumble there towards the Drakensberg Mountains. And all three of these elephant sort of teenagers, oh, a little bit older maybe in their mid twenties, the oldest one here. So none of them very big elephant, but that one on the left hand side here is heading straight towards where that carcass was. Go try and get a prime seat for us. They might do nothing, but I think we're going to see a little bit of interesting behavior. See this bull here to our right now, he's literally where that killer was. 
just the other day. Just like I hoped. Beautiful sight of him as well. Look at that. It's like a postcard setting. Apart from the buffalo carcass in the foreground, just such a beautiful setting. Big marilla tree. Look up at the elephants. There's both of them now. Termite Mount to their right. Now, just 48 hours ago, we had lions lying on top of that termite mound. We had vultures sitting in that marula tree, and now we've got some elephants coming past to investigate. I'm just going to go a little forward again. They're right where the kill was. The carcass has been moved a bit by the hyenas. Look at them smelling the ground there. Ah, this is awesome. <laughs> These are the special things we see out here. Different behavior from the usual, just feeding and, feeding and moving around. See them really sniffing the ground, testing it with their trunks. I mean, as a human, I can smell the predator presence still here from the lions and the dung from the carcass. I can imagine an elephant with a nose like that, a sense of smell beyond what we can imagine. They can read a whole story here just by feeling around in their trunks. And this guy deciding to come and have a look at us as well. This is very cool behavior. Really awesome to see this. Look at these guys. Intelligent animals, curious about their surroundings, curious about all the smells. And this younger one, also curious about us in his nature. To be investigating and see what's happening. And see there's one going to look at the carcass itself. moving it around. This is very, very cool. Now again, we're looking at very intelligent, bright animals. They can figure things out, make deductions about what's going on, and this is obviously them just trying to figure out what was going down here. So using the feet to kick it around. Sorry about the edge of the car being in there, but we don't want to move now. We're very close to these elephants. They're only about 10 meters away. 25, 30 feet. This is fascinating. This is one of the most interesting things I've seen around a buffalo carcass for a while, including the lions, because this is quite unusual. It's not every day you see something like this. Let me try and turn the car just a little bit. These elephants seem very comfortable with us being here, so... Amazing. It's one of the reasons we are here is to share these unusual things with you as well. It's not every day, like I said already, but really, it's not often you'll see something like this again. Ah, oh. <laughs> definitely a highlight.